I'm currently playing this game with a buddy online. It's Cross Suez, the Battle of the Chinese Farm, October 15th, 1973. This particular version is produced by Decision Games from a, an original design originally produced by SPI. Across Suez. On the 6th of October 1973, troops of the Egyptian Third Army performed a masterful surprise crossing of the Suez Canal. Overwhelmed the emplaced Israeli defenders along the Barlev line and established themselves in force in the Sinai. For the first time in over two decades, the vaunted Israeli Defense Force had been dealt a stunning defeat. But even before the magnitude of the defeat could be digested, and well before the desperate defensive efforts <clears throat> to halt the Egyptian and Syrian advances in the Sinai and Golan had fully succeeded, Israeli military leaders were planning a countercrossing of the canal with the objective of isolating the entire Egyptian Third Army. Israeli reconnaissance discerned a gap between the Third Army and the Egyptian Second Army to its north. On the 15th of October, with the way apparently clear to a crossing point at the northern tip of the Great Bitter Lake, three Israeli divisions and a convoy of bulky bridge sections began to advance, only to collide with the Egyptian 16th Infantry and the 21st Tank Division thus initiating the wildest and most important battle of the October War. The game contents, it has 60 counters, one 11 by 17 inch map sheet, four page rules booklet, and one six out of die. It's rated very high in solitaire play and complexity is very low. This game was produced by Decision Games in 1995. Here we have the position of the combat forces after the Israeli movement and combat and Egyptian movement phases. I will be conducting the various combats and then sending the results to my opponent via email later today most likely. The Egyptians currently have a bulge in the Israeli line in the center of the map. Whether it can hold or not remains to be seen. The Chinese farm is still in Egyptian hands although I have moved the 16-4 mechanized unit out of the Chinese farm to help the 1611 engage the ERES 3 tank unit. Um, my hope is to force it to retreat and if my 16-4 is attacked I'm hoping for at least a retreat so I can retreat back into the Chinese farm. Any advance will not allow them to advance into the Chinese farm at this turn. And if uh, that fails, I'll try to advance uh, one of my tank units into the Chinese farm. Otherwise, we currently have two Egyptian units destroyed versus one Israeli unit. So, like I say, it's real early yet, and we'll see what happens after these combats are resolved. I'm going to be resolving the combats wherever the Egyptian units are turned 60 degrees. So we'll see what happens later. Across Suez, the Battle of the Chinese Farm, October 15th, 1973. These are the final positions of the units at the end of turn one. In the center, a bulge still exists. Although, um, we have managed, as the Egyptian player, to push my opponent's units back a small degree. 
off of the um, main roads leading to the canal up here at the top of the map. The Israeli's goal is to get um, a bridging unit, a bridging unit up to Mazamed, and keep a line of uh, communications open all the way back down to um, Area C down there. They have the following units here coming on on turn two, and we have. Egyptian player has a small infantry unit here on turn two coming in on area B and where's my main force here I have a small armored force coming in on turn two at area A so um, the dead pile is looking a little better I have three two losses and he has two losses um, most losses in this game come from the classic surround your opponent and force him to retreat school um, but here at the Chinese farm my plan was to push out away from it so that if units could uh, had to retreat or were eliminated they would not allow an easy access to the farm itself, but um, further further um, thought, I should probably have left uh, the 16-4 in um, the Chinese farm area, because now I see that I've left an opening up through here, or even this unit could just exit ZOC, enter ZOC, and these units could come here and another unit here maybe well no here and here and probably here and um, either eliminate this unit at best I'm hoping for a retreat into here at worst they'll eliminate this unit but still they can only advance into this hex which should give me a chance to put an armor unit back in there there should be no way that they can uh, Enter the Chinese farm hex this turn. I would like to pull or put this 410 armor unit up into there, but I'm not going to have the movement points, I'm afraid. Uh, unless I can track onto the go onto that road and then onto the or on the trail, which is the dash lines, and then move along the road up into Chinese farm, but there may be a zone of control or something there. Preventing that, I don't know yet. Anyway, to move across the sand hexes, which are the ones that look light or whitish, cost three movement points. The roads, uh, where are they? Uh, roads are half a movement point and trails are two movement points. Otherwise, the sand itself is three movement points. So, um, I'll see if I can make it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine and a half. I could make it with the armored unit. The, uh, whatever he is. Sixteen, six. And that would give me a good, uh, defensive position at the Chinese farm, but here, I need to maneuver these forces more along here to block that road because he'll be bringing in the bridge on turn five. The game only lasts uh, seven turns, so we both have uh, reinforcements coming in on turn two. He has some on turn three, and then we both get some on turn five. So we'll kind of see how see how the game plays out but like I said this is the end of game turn one um, for across Suez and I shall be back for game turn two see ya